gonna go over how to set up narrative in your 2D games. I'm gonna go over how to set up profile pictures, moving profile pictures, and as well as quest. Uh, that will be in a different video, but today we're just gonna go over how to set up the project and have it ready to go. But yeah, so all you do here is just install to engine and make sure it's installed to the right engine version. Once you do that, you wanna go into your project. You wanna type in narrative. Click the box and then restart your editor. And there's a couple ways to set this up. But for me personally, uh, you just want to go to the engine folder here on the left. And up in the search bar, you want to type in narrative. And then you'll see a bunch of widgets here. I'm only going to make a new narrative dialogue default UI. So I'm just going to bring it into narrative paste. And I'm going to bring it in here. And I'm just going to rename it to plat former UI. Guys, so we're going to create a controller for the character. So right click, blueprint class, go to player controller. I'm just going to call it PC for player controller, narrative controller. You can name it whatever you like. Go ahead and open it up. Awesome. So once we have this set up, go ahead and add a component, type in narrative, and I'm just going to keep it named that. So compile and save really quick. Let's go ahead and grab your game mode. So wherever you put that, for me, I just have it right here. It's just a GM platformer and I open it up and all you have to do is over here on the right, you see player controller class and you want to choose PC narrative controller, compile and save and you can close. Sweet. So go to event graph and then you could delete this tick. Go ahead and drag out your narrative, drag out from event play, type create widget, and then you want to do narrative and then you want to choose the UI that you just made. So it's the BP plat narrative default UI and then plug in your narrative component and then drag out from return value and add to viewport. Awesome. So when you open up narrative, you can kind of see how it looks and you want to go into the dialogue side. We want to go down here and what you want to do is let's first make a trigger so I can show you guys how it works. So narrative, uh, dialogue, and we'll just do D underscore and D for dialogue. Uh, first dialogue. And you can name it whatever you like, of course. So double click it, open it, class defaults. It'll show everything. Uh, for 2D games, you do not want the camera to, the dialogue camera to spawn. It'll make your game look crazy. And then here's your speaker section. And I'm just going to make the color like a red. I'm going to name speaker ID I. I'm actually going to make him green. So he has a green eye. And then no default shot because we're not bringing in the camera. So we'll just go to the dialogue graph on the top left. And if you don't see that here, then it's over on the right. Just double click that. It'll open and you delete it. Um, you can go to this drop down. Go to speaker. I'm just going to change it to I. And you can leave target blank. But I'm just going to say keep this blank. And then add dialogue line for I. And cool. So we'll just go ahead and make the trigger now. Blueprint class, actor, BP underscore dialogue trigger. And I'm just going to open it up. Add a component, add a box, collision. And then right click box, add event on component begin overlap. I just want to do other actor, get narrative component from target. Drag out from return value, begin dialog. Then choose your dialog class. You can make this a variable, but for this example, I'm just going to choose first dialog, compile and save. And then just so it doesn't repeat, we're just going to destroy the actor. And then what you want to do now is drag it into your game, set up the location. I have my Y axis at zero. And then I'm just going to make the box just a bit bigger. And go ahead and go to your player. So go to your event interact, or sorry, event begin play. Here we're just going to create, I usually have it off of the sequence, but you can have your begin play. You can put it wherever as long as it's just that begin play. But I'm just going to do create widget. And then owning player, you want to do get player controller. Drag out from there, grab your class narrative platformer UI and then you want to get narrative narrative components here and then add to viewport it's a little messy at the moment but I'm just trying to show you guys how to get it going 
So now, greetings, I have returned. If you could see that at the bottom. Here it is. I, And what we could do is we can change that. But for now, we're just going to open up our platformer UI, and then now we'll add a dialog box. So we're just going to create search in the palette and do image. Drag it out into the scene. You can kind of see your dialog box is here. So current dialog line, and you just want it to be on the outside. Something like that. And then you want to make sure the anchors are at the bottom. You can center it. Looks all pretty. Compile and save. And I actually have a dialog box. You can use a solid color if you like, but this is just what I'm going to use for this example. And then you can also get, um, you want to rename this to dialog box. Compile and save. And then NPC name text. I'm just going to move this down to here. And then I'm going to make the color black so it doesn't stick out or it doesn't blend in with this. Really quick, you want to actually drag this. Grab your dialog box. The lower it is, the more in front it is. So you just want to bring it behind. Put it just above the names. Push play. Greetings, master. I have returned. So what we could do here is actually just grab the current dialog line. Bring it down a little bit. Compile and save. That's a pretty good spot. Awesome. So now I'll show you guys how to get portraits in. Uh, we'll have to do a little bit of C++ coding, but it's okay, I promise. It's not too hard. It's only a couple lines of code. So what you want to do is you want to go to your engine, and then all you have to do is just type in narrative, and right-click just like whatever widget. Um, I'm just going to do the dialog option, for example. You want to open it in Explorer. So it comes up with this folder here, and you want to go narrative, source, narrative, public, and dialogue.h. And by the way, this will change for all of your projects. So again, if you want, I recommend making a plugins folder and copying and pasting everything in here, just so it doesn't give you issues. But for this example, I'll just edit it right off the bat so you guys know what to do. In the speaker ID, so there's a couple things that we're going to change. Um, for this example, I'm only going to show you guys how to do a portrait and a portrait material. So you guys can work with that. Here, after default shot, go ahead and push enter. And then I'm going to call it portrait. Portrait space equals space null ptr semicolon. By the way, I'm going to put these in the description so you guys can just copy and paste. And then we're going to actually do one more and we're going to call it portrait mat for material. And it's going to give you guys an option to add materials, which will make it so you can have animated um, animated portraits, which is really, really pretty. I'll show you this. I was going to do a dialog box too, but just to keep it simple, I'm going to show you guys because you guys can reuse this as much as you like. But yep, so go ahead and so before this check of green, you can just push enter a few times. So you want to grab the name of the speaker and then copy it, paste. And then you just want to rename or re recomment this to, I'm just going to call it portrait static. And then I'm going to add a couple stars. So if you ever need to come back and edit anything, it's really easy to find. Um, but yeah, all you're going to change here is, and then under here, we're just going to replace this with a U texture 2D and then put a star next to it. And then speaker ID, you're going to change that to portrait and then equals null ptr semicolon. So whatever you named this up here is what's going to be down here. So if you want to be extra sure, you can even just copy and paste it just to make sure you don't have a typo or anything. So we're going to do it one more time. So you just want to copy, paste, and for portrait, I'm just going to do portrait material and then do the same thing, except here you want to do you material u capital m material star portrait portrait mat null P ptr sweet that is it so you can save so really quick i'm just going to add an image and i'm just going to add it right here i'll put the um little portrait on the side i'm going to name it portrait and for the brush for example i'm just going to set um going to do this goofy guy and you guys can add 
profile pictures. So what you could do here is click duplicate portrait and then I'm going to call it Matt. Uh, by the way, don't forget to change your anchors to bottom center. Move this down. And so here you'll have the option between having a portrait texture and a portrait material and you can add flipbooks to materials so it can be animated. So due to some technical difficulties, I'm just going to show you guys an example of how I set it up on my end. So I'm just going to go to my narrative and do open up the main widget. And basically how I have it set up here is I have the dialog box that I created in the other project and then just have this set up. And it's basically the same as the other one. I colored it a little bit differently, but on the same event, dialog line started. I have these speaker portraits and I did a variable for the dialog box as well, like what I showed. And then the speaker portrait materials. Then I have an option if I want the dialog box to be animated or not. I have it. Um, ignore this. This is uh, my print letter by letter and I could I could make a video showing how I set this up too. Just let me know if you want to see that. So yeah, speaker portrait. I have it set up. So I bring it over here. Make slate brush. I have the image size and I have the portrait texture, which is this variable I made over here. And, and I have set brush. The material, speaker portrait material. Same thing, make slate brush and then set brush. I have little interactable objects. And if I search for it, I can just open up this dialog, go to class defaults. And as you can see, I set the portrait as blank and it's just a blank PNG file because I'm going to have some things animated. But so basically, for example, I'm going to do bridge sticky note. And for the portrait material, I'm just going to set it to profile picture. Um, and this is just for an example, but come here, you can see that it's animated. Really, really nice. And you just set it here and you have it set with your speaker. So whenever you have that speaker, this profile picture will set up. So it's only a one time setup, which is super nice. As for the flip books to get them to appear in UI, I just have time and then number of rows, number of columns, flip book. And then I have the texture sample, which is the source, the source sprite sheet. So it takes the columns and it like cuts it and it plays based off of however fast you want it to play. And then the final color is how it'll look at the end. It's really, really cool. So I'll show you really quick how this works. Home Interactables, I'll just do the sticky note again. Compile, play. Here it is. And you can also make the background translucent too, but you would just have to mess around with the material. But yeah, this is how you set it up. It's really cool. But yeah, um, if you guys need help with anything, Ryub's video is very good when it comes to just like the basics of narrative, but this is really good just to show you guys how to set up for 2D games. It's it's super cool. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on Proto, which is the print letter by letter and having materials over your over your text. So like for example, printing and then this is like a wave, this is like a shake. And then there's pauses in between dot 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 and you can also change those too and there's also like a rainbow it's really really nice well thank you so much for watching peace